and I'm cosplaying as Hada Hada Hadako, and I'm at Anime Oasis 2004. Okay, welcome to the Anime Oasis 3 Cosplay! Alright, we have a number of skits for you tonight, and hopefully they are lovely and funny. Okay, I'm hearing things. <laughs> and not just regular sounds, like weird noises that don't exist. <laughs> Because obviously I can hear you guys laughing at me. <laughs> okay, first we'll start with number one, of course. And they wrote in my con staff use only area. Skip number, army of idiots. It's not even a number. Anyway, their group name is You May Know Shoujo. And this is Matt and Andy. Here we go. 
Skit number three, a group film entitled Battle Royale. It's Rachel as Noriko. Um, I'm rebelling against Final Fantasy. The name of the anime is X slash 999 or 1999. <laughs>
go to four. We don't see very much dramatic stuff, so it's kind of nice. Okay, skit number five is a group entitled Fat Bastard. That <laughs> might sound slightly familiar. <laughs> and, um... There aren't any babies in this <laughs> Someday he might decide to show up. <laughs> James! Are you here? Need some volunteers to come up here? Yeah, come on, come on, come on. All right. Huh? Oh, we got a strip. No, I'm just joking. All right. All these people just volunteered to do whatever the judges want. So that's what they came up here for. So you can do whatever you want. All right. Well, let's ask the judges, what would they like them to do? Please only pick one or two of them as there's so many and it would take like hours to go through like not every single one. Let's go up for the girls to the judges! If they're guys, if they're girls, if they like girls, anybody can have them. Oh, hey, Mr. Bastard, please walk out to the front so they, they can see you. Yeah, that's my costume. But this is pretty much it, Jeremy. It didn't work what I thought it was going to be. It's over. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. All right, that's cool. Don't we sacrifice you? Yes. The one I meant is that you, you could do something naughty with them if you want it. Oh, I need to go back up there. You want me to go back up yeah. there? Yeah, okay. you're stuck now. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you are now at the mercy of the judges. All right. Uh, yeah, I would love to see the Macarena to some uh, sexy anime music uh, with the background dancers being us right. on the stage. <laughs> that would be like rock and roll. whose costume should be an amazingly total surprise to you. <laughs> they are called the Fighters Against the Evils of Love and Justice. Oh. All the beauty of the moonlit night when a fair blonde haired princess can meet her masked prince.
to the stars above. Oh, oh you fucked <laughs> Cosplay. It's where you can say and do anything you want, even those naughty words that you shouldn't say up here. chickens. Next time on Dragon Ball Z. It's killing! Dub is the anime. Hey, you know it's true. 
<laughs> yeah, I guess. Wow, that's a lot of people. Next, we have a group named Tenshi Kami Kaido Dojo and Paws and Paw of Twin Falls.
skit number 10. The Harajuku Girls. And now, the assy comedic styling of two unknown people who you don't know.
further, I'd like to tell you that next year we don't need to have the unrestricted cosplay. Because we'll just have it here. On this entry number 12, Cody Thoreau Man as Chichiri. Skit number 13, our final presentation for this evening, a group entitled Looping Crew. Oh no. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. For those of you who don't know my reputation, my name is Arsene Upan III. And I am the world's greatest thief. I have stolen treasures that you can only imagine. I have stolen gold bars and melted them down into a car. I have stolen jewels of such majesty just for the woman that I love. But sadly, she's not here with me today. Aww. Wait a minute, wait a minute! That means I'm single again! Yes! <laughs> here we go. Um, hey, you're looking at me like... <laughs> Zinigata, but he's probably 10 feet behind me. <laughs> oh, crap. I lied, we have one more person. Fire. Fire. 
Well, I just said that, so you don't gotta tell me. <laughs> we have Rue from Samurai Troopers. Oh, no. Oh, cool. Drugs are bad for you. <laughs> like a high-tech armored samurai to tell you how to live your life. <laughs> All right, we're gonna let the judges go and decide the winners. Have you already decided? No. Oh, okay, you kind of had that look in your eye like, oh, we're done. I'm like, what? <laughs> and we have some staff members who are going to entertain you and a special video presentation of something that I did very many years ago that you might enjoy. So we'll start with the staff members. It's not going to scare us, is it? No, it's not scary at all. It's actually... I wasn't going to show up, but I was like... And everybody else in here was like, yeah, show me, that show me. Oh, okay, so I'm going to show it. It's like, it's a six minute video, so... It'll be funny, but... What? No, this is before I wore skirts. <laughs> no, I never had a bachelor party. Once upon a time, I did this cosplay thing, and I was. I was gonna say, I was gonna say it, but you're not giving me time. I was insane. Seriously. And so I spent all of a two days making this really, really insane costume and I stayed up a whole day before a con. And it was so insane and it's a lot of insanity. <laughs> Alright, now you will see a lot of blackness because during this video I am walking up this ramp and I'm walking very slowly. <laughs> I mean, very slow. Now, this entire time that you are watching this video, this poor announcer guy is trying to stall for me so that I can walk up this ramp that's about 20 foot long. Okay. And I remind you that this is a six minute video.
See how much my entertainment skills have rised in the past five years? Oh wow, five years ago that was. Back before I knew how to make things that you could walk in. <laughs> that, was, that was horrible. I never realized how embarrassing that tape is until now. <laughs> no, I don't have a tape of Mimi. But you know where it got inspired from now? That was an AX costume I did where I crashed. All my famous cosplays involve crashing. <laughs> what? Heavy arms. Oh yeah, heavy arms too. I did that one. Aw, oh, man. After, you know what? All right, I'll just explain this a little bit quick. The feet had risers that were about this high. And the, see how high that screen is? Those wings went about a foot above that. And the foot broke, and so I fell on the foot. So before the cosplay was even over, the whole leg was crushed because I kept falling on it. And then I fell over, so the whole thing was crushed. And it's just made out of cardboard anyway, so... Basically, it didn't even survive long enough to get off stage. So no, I don't have it. I still have the blades, though, from the size. Anyway, we'll move on to the awards now. Yeah, I'll take that shit. Our guests are Michael Coleman. <laughs> Andrea from the Kageshian Performance Group. Is it hot in here? Good, that's a good excuse. <laughs> Alright, this was, uh, it took us uh, quite a while actually, although we were quite uh, similar in our, on our opinions back there. Um, this was a fantastic uh, display of cosplay. I've been to many cosplays uh, throughout North America, and I saw some truly original, amazing stuff. So before we start, maybe we can do one more round of applause for everybody, because that was fantastic. Yeah. And before we start, I'd also like to mention that uh, this is the uh, most full I've ever seen this room, and I've done two panels already. Now, I'm back tomorrow at 2 o'clock, and if I have to dress in a funny costume to get this turnout, I will. <laughs> Jessica Rabbit, I want to know if that outfit fits me, because that's what I'm wearing tomorrow. We're going to try this later on tomorrow. It's going to be a very sexy panel tomorrow. It's the sexy anime panel. So, okay, what we're here for, uh, we're going to start. I'm going to head over to Andrea. We'll, uh, we'll start out with our, uh, we'll, with our awards here. Okay, I hope everyone's ready. Okay, we're gonna start with our other award. This award could be anything. So we looked at everyone and thought, well, what is another award? And we decided we were gonna do the most obscure award. <laughs> and for this award, we have chosen the Fighters Against the Evils and Love of Justice. <laughs> for them to come down, because they're a, a big group. <laughs> Personal Judges Award. This was very hard. Being that I do costuming and performing, it's very hard to look at everyone with all these amazing costumes and everything. But I decided to give out my award because I am a hidden Trekkie too. So my award goes to the Harajuku Girls. Come on up. I just want to say that 
Yes, Trekkies stir up lots of emotions in everyone, so <laughs> whatever you feel about them, it's, yes, good. Oh, and though my mom is not here, I promised her that I would thank her for making my costume. So. One more time for the Trekkie girls. All right, now I also was uh, uh, allowed to give out a judges award, and I decided to go old school with mine. Uh, there was one particular uh, cosplay that touched me uh, in a way that, uh, it, 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 that brought me back to my roots. I saw somebody that, to me, it looked like they went to the garage, they uh, saw what they saw, and they made something absolutely beautiful uh, out of cardboard. And uh, for me, and there was also the uh, don't do drugs message, which I was this close to doing drugs until a samurai trooper got me off the chunk. He's not here yet. Keep clapping. He's almost here. That is old school cosplay and that rocks. Five cardboard boxes, four rolls of masking tape, and three cans of three cans of spray paint. Okay, our next award to give out is for the best costume. Again, a very difficult decision with all the amazing ones we had, but there's only one. So forgive me, I'm going to destroy this name. If it helps, it was number four, Yuzahi. Yeah. hours and we were, we were preparing in the room for like the entire day before this so thanks <laughs> now to uh, read out what we uh, determined as the audience pick. Um, this is uh, a group that uh, seemed to get a lot of yells and screams and uh, uh, we enjoyed them too. Uh, so the group for best audience pick is Engi no Shizoku. Well now it makes a noise! They want this because of the It's a long walk up, people. It's a long walk up. I don't like speeches. <laughs> That's kind of our motto. Why do I get the microphone? Um, we pulled this out of our butts behind stage, and uh, thanks. Right now. <laughs> I think we all owe it to Steffi's mother. Aww. Aww. I can't see you not doing this. Okay, clap again. the two most important, glamorous awards you can get at. <coughs> so let's start with number two. <laughs> okay, this one made me laugh. I almost fell out of my chair laughing so hard. So we give 
the best, second best of show to, I'm going to just say the half, second half of the name, Paws of Twin Falls. And the yeah! Yeah! many cosplays and um, this may be the best cosplay I've ever seen so far. I think it was absolutely brilliant on every level from costumes to entertainment to, to the whole works. I thought you guys epitomized what cosplay was supposed to do and uh, I won't keep you in suspense. You probably know who we are. It's Tejina Chibi Ichidan. Bring it up. Two fifty-five gallon soap drums and one thirty-three gallon. I have no idea how much paint. <laughs> Come on, we painted it. <laughs> Let's see here, about four hundred dollars and about eight months worth of construction of everything and a lot of stress. I think I'm gonna have an ulcer. <laughs> We owe it all to Kitty. She did everything. She did the costumes. She held us together. Yeah! Um, I just want to say, I think the Chichiri here just made me deaf with his yeah! right in my ear. And uh, also, um, all the money that went into this, okay. I about three or four hours work non-stop into this for about fifty, sixty dollars into all this and no spending money for the con. Go me. Well, I just barely made it here by the skin of my teeth, but I'm glad I came and thank you all for coming to see us perform. I'm glad you liked it. Um, I just want to say thank you everyone for um, supporting us and what we do. We hope one day to become professional. And I, I just want to thank everyone that, that helped and participated. Thank you, Larry, for, for making our jewelry for us. It was a big help and less stress on me. It was awesome. <laughs> thank you so much, everybody, and I hope you all look forward to our next performance. Thank you. <laughs>
going to be beautiful if we had 14 trophies because there was 14 fantastic cosplays up here. Let's put a big round of applause for everybody. <laughs> can have your photo shoots there. Next here in main events, we will be previewing a brand new anime that hasn't been released in the US yet. It's called The World of Naru. I know nothing about it, but we'll be showing two episodes. You'll be the first to see it. So if you're interested, come and join us. Thank you. Two o'clock tomorrow, Michael Coleman dressed as Jessica Rabbit. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got a lot of